Those numbers mean little relief for residents and staff in Iowa's long-term care centers. 153 centers have at least three COVID-19 cases among residents and staff. Statewide cases in that population are approaching 5,000. Nearly 1,100 residents have died. Those in the industry say it's putting a tremendous strain on staff. Last year, a poll by the Iowa Workforce Development and nonprofit Iowa Caregivers found 81% of long-term care staff members were concerned about not having enough staff to provide good care. Another 70% say they were concerned about their own mental health. You've got people again now working during COVID uh, who are, you know, they have to isolate or quarantine uh, if they're infected or um, uh, exposed to the virus. And some of them are doing that without pay, you know, for 10 or 14 days. They don't have paid leave. So there are all kinds of issues in that area. Early this month, Governor Kim Reynolds allocated $14 million of CARES Act funding to help with testing and staffing at those facilities.